Hey guys, how you all doing? It's Electro HD here, and today I'm coming at you with another Black Ops 2 video. This time I'm going to be talking about the new kill streaks that are coming into the game, um, and the new t score streak system. Now, um, I reckon this score streak system is one of the best um, point systems, I guess you can call it, for any Call of Duty. It re really rewards the objective play, and like, practically, if you do anything, you'll get points for it, um, as long as like you're not sitting in a corner, practically. So, um, wh what it does is Say if you like cap a flag, you get like maybe a hundred points, and um, it goes off. Um, if you look on the leaderboards in any game, you'll see how you have your score on the left hand side next to your kills. It practically goes off that. So say like if you cap a flag in um, but in mod three, I'm pretty sure you get fifty or a hundred points. So that that would be go towards your score streak in Black Ops two. So um, yeah, the first streak, first score streak we have um is the RCXT. And that is worth 325 points. Um, that's actually a great. Uh, it's the um, pretty much it's exactly the same as um Black Ops One score streak or kill streak. The RCXD from that. Um, it's just as good, I guess, but um, it doesn't have as big a blast radius, so that's a bit of a downfall. Um, the next one we got is the UAV, and the UAV is a really good kill streak because it it can act as long as it. You, as long as it, it still helps you to get kills and all that, it, and it gives you extra score points as your UAV assists, and that goes towards your score streak. Say if someone gets a kill while your UAV is up, that'll give you points towards your score streak. So you could go from a UAV to say a uh, death machine just from the UAV without even having to do anything. But hopefully that doesn't mean people will just get a UAV and camp in a corner for the rest of the game. But we'll have to see how that plays out. Um, remember this is the alpha. For the, all this information is from, so none of this is confirmed. The, um, you, um, David Vonderhart and um, all the Black Ops people, they might turn it down. Maybe you get an assist for every three kills or something like that. Just if it's being if it's being over too over too overused or too overpowered. The third kill streak we have is 400 points. Um, that's the Hunter Killer. It's practically a missile that hunts on itself, hunts by itself. You. You take it out, throw it, and it'll just circle around the map until it finds someone. It can miss, um, and Flatjack it can protect you from it quite easily. But hopefully that'll be a good kill streak. It's only 400 points, so it's not going to be one of the best kill streaks in the game. But hopefully it is fairly good. Then there's the care package, 450 points. That's just like any standard care package in any of the Call of Duty's that you've seen. Um, pretty good kill streak, like like it always is. You can get, I'm pretty sure you can get anything in the all of the um score streaks but as we've as we've seen haven't seen yet so we haven't seen any new type thing yet so I'm not sure if that's going to be coming back hopefully it does and the next one this is bringing they're bringing back candy UAV again which is always good to see uh, and then there there is a perk that um counters you from candy UAV so and EMP and so that's a completely different perk to what covers you from UAV so um, Black Ops 2 has really done a great job of Splitting up those perks that practically make you invisible, unlike a like unlike assassin, where you um are available to like seven different um hiding techniques all in one perk. And the next one is for 500 points, you'll get you get the guardian as a score streak, and that is it. Sort of you place it down, and then if enemies walk past it, it's it like it keeps them there. And it's hard for them to get away. And what it does is like heats up the water molecules inside them and practically burns them from the inside. So that'll be a pretty good kill streak to see, especially for 500 points. Um, if you play, if you get some good maps and you get placed in the right spot, you could get a lot of kills from it. And the next one is Hellstorm missile. That's for 525 points. That's also another great, um, another great kill streak. It's sort of like a predator missile, except but except you use it like a predator missile. It helps you blow it up. In the air, and it um, it'll make a cluster bomb, so you can cover wide areas of the map. Obviously, if you do it higher, if you to detonate a higher up, it'll do a larger area and not as much damage to certain areas. So you might not get a, a lot of kills, but well, um, hopefully that'll be another good kill streak. There are a lot of kill streaks in this game, though. Um, so hof hopefully this not it's not a kill kill streak packed game. Well, mod like mod, mod two, they had so many kill streaks, um, up in the air like the whole game. It's almost impossible to go outside after like halfway through. So hopefully it's not like that. 
Then the next kill streak is Lightning Strike, and that's practically like a mortar team, except you, except it's a bit more powerful, and um, you, you practically you use it the same, place it in three different points in the map, and it'll go and just um fire down in those three spots. So I reckon that'll be a fairly good kill streak. And then um, <laughs> whatever a lot of people wanted to see return is the Death Machine. It's not as good as it used to be. It's it's 600 points, and it um it has a max ammo, but when you die, you do get to keep, um keep using it until you use up all the ammo. So that'll that'll be really good because I know a lot of people didn't like it when as soon as you died, you didn't get to use it anymore. But uh, apparently, it's really hard to aim and um from long distances, and you have to walk really slowly. So hopefully, if people, but maybe if you get good at it, it could be really useful. Um, another thing they've done is they've made the sentry gun, and you don't have to have a remote sentry to be able to control it or have the AI control it. You can swap between it. Unlike mod three, you have to have a certain um, remote sentry, then a different sentry gun that controls itself. But this one you can control it if you want or let it go around its own way. And the next one is the war machine. The war machine is a um, it's like a practically a noob tube. But as a kill streak, that's 700 points. It, it just um, you take it out and you, it's like the death machine. You get to keep using it until you use out all your ammo, and then after you do, you get um, after you use out all your ammo, it's gone. You can't get it back. But if you die, you you get, do get to keep it, and it has I think four four um, tubes per round. Then it has, I think it has like three three or four rounds. Uh, and then flat jacket does protect you from it quite well, so you can you can already see that flat jacket's going to be really useful in this game, from all the explosives that could be going on from kill streak, score streak. Sorry. Then next one kill streak we have is dragonfire. That uh, everyone already knows what that is. It's the remote helicopter that you get to fly around and shoot people. I'm not sure. It might not have a time limit, and it just might be forever. That you might go on forever until you get shot down, but that's not confirmed yet. It could change. Um. Might, I'm, I, don't, might, I might not even be right, it's just, it has, if you've seen gameplay, it's had a timer in the bottom right hand corner, and someone pointed out that that might be a record of how long you've lost in it, but who knows, it might be really easy to shoot down, or um, we don't know how that's going to work yet. The next one is the AGR, 800 points, um, so you can already see that it's gone from 325 to 800, and there's already there's still at least 6-7 um, more kill streaks left, or maybe even 9 or 9, so um, yeah, there's gonna there's actually a lot of kill streaks, and as you get higher, they actually do get a lot harder to get. And this is all without dying, so it's gonna be a lot harder. And um, if you do go through your kill streaks, score streaks once, when you get back, um, if you go back, finish your last one, you go back to the first one. But just as in Mod Modern Warfare 3, you cannot stack your kill streaks, um, if it's in the same life or even in not in the same life. So you can't just spam the enemy team with UAVs or like um, sentry guns or stuff like that. But yeah, the AGR is practically a robot thing that you can either control or go around by itself, and it just has bullets and missiles. It's sort of like a um, uh, the thing in Mod 3 where you get to control it, I forget what it's called. But yeah, it's sort of like that, except it's a bit more powerful, I think. And if you can, say, throw it into the enemy base and it'll deploy itself. And then go around and just start, um and shoot people, and then you can swap to control it if you want. That that's up up to you. Then there's the stealth chopper. It's just um, his stealth chopper is practically a helicopter, except it doesn't appear on the radar. So it's sort of like the I think the payload didn't show up. No, there was one kill streak in Modern Warfare 2 that if you use, it didn't show up on the radar. I tried the stealth bomber. It's like that, except it's a um. Attack helicopter. The next one we have that's 850 points. Next one we have is orbital VSAT. This this is the kill streak that everyone wanted to see. Um, this is the Blackbird from Black Ops One, which was a great kill streak. I would love to use that kill streak if I used. I would just run UAV County UAV Blackbird, and it would be the best setup. Um, you could go around getting loads of kills, and that's always fun to do. So yeah, that's a kill streak that I really wanted to see back, and that's 900 points. So it's like. Yeah, I think that I'm not sure if, how many points you get for each kill, but say it's like 50 points a kill, it could be 18 kills. So you're really gonna have to um be objective play. And the next one you have is the escort drone, that is thousand points. 
um, that's practically like an A6 from Modern Warfare 3. Just follows you around, but tries to protect you as best as they can, and shoots off the enemies. The next one we have is the Warthog, and that's like that's like a um stealth. Oh dear, um I forget what it's called, but the um kill streak in Modern Warfare 3 where it goes across the map and shoots it, like as many people as it can. But hopefully it's a lot better, better than the one in Mod 3 because the one in Mod 3 sucks. Um, next one is the EMP system for 1,050 points, and that's just a normal EMP, I guess. But like once again, there is the kill streak that counts as it, um, so it might not as be as, effect as effective if people are using that um, kill, kill streak. I mean perk, sorry. So if but I'm not sure if it will let you use kill streaks, but if it does, then that perk could be a really good perk to use. People, a lot of people are using EMPs. The next one is the load star, and that is practically, I think it's sort of like a, um, oh, the, the kill streak in Black Ops 1, Valkyrie, Valkyrie rocket, that's right, it's sort of like that, I think, you can control it, and it, um, fl you fly it around, you can get, in, um, go find people, and it has a really big explosion, it, it would have to, for a 1,150 point, 1,150 point score streak, so that, that kill streak is really good. And the next one is the VTOL warship. That's practically like a gunship from Black Ops One, or or a chopper gunner. So it's either one of those. I'm not sure if you'd be able to control it, but if you can, that'd be pretty cool because it's that is 1,200 score points. So that that could be a really good kill streak. Then the third kill streak that everyone wanted to see back was the was the attack dogs, and now it's called the canine unit. That's 1,275 points. So it depend depending on how many points you need for a um for a kill it could be a lot of kills to get those kill streaks um play it say maybe if you're playing tdm you might get 100 points per kill so um because that is the objective of the game so it could only be 12 kills but for say domination you only get 50 points per kill it'll be around 25 kills so that will be that's um i think really good from Treyarch trying to um emphasize emphasize more on objective play rather than just kill whoring like i did a lot in black Ops one and the final kill streak for Black Ops 2, not confirmed yet. They might add more. That was still the alpha, but the final kill streak that we know know of so far is the swarm, and that, as you've seen, you saw in the end of the Black Ops 2 trailer, it there's a lot of um a lot of these little remote control helicopters, but like you don't control them. They just fly around the map, and they just target people. And as soon as they see someone, they'll fly down and kill them as best as you can. So you practically have to stay inside as long as they're up, and they are up for a minute. So hopefully, I reckon that'll be a really good kill streak, especially for 1,400 points. Um, so yeah, guys, that it finishes my Black Ops 2 kill streaks video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'll be getting you more Black Ops 2 information hopefully tomorrow. I might do a video on the creator class or maps, or th there's a lot of things to talk about. But I'll be trying to get it. I'll be trying to get. It. Black Ops 2 information to you as soon as I can from now on. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.